Thank you, uh, Congressman Pfluger. It's wonderful to be back in the Concho Valley, and especially with my friend, uh, Senator Ernst. Senator Ernst is a part of the elected leadership of Republicans in the United States Senate. She heads the Republican Policy Committee and uh, does an outstanding job helping other Republican senators to be uh, you know, current on all the, uh, the issues that we need to be uh, conversant with and that are so important to passing good public policy. She hails from Iowa and uh, we're obviously uh, has a big interest in the, the farm bill which is uh, being worked on now. Uh, I don't think we're gonna make the uh, end of September deadline, but there'll be a short extension and we'll work will continue on that. Um, but I'm uh, really delighted to be here with Congressman Pfluger. Uh, he's one of the premier advocates, not only for the military, but also for American energy um, independence. Um, it's amazing to me, and just in your congressional district, I think 40% of the oil produced in the United States comes from the Permian Basin. It just blows my mind. And uh, we still believe in fossil fuels, and we still uh, work hand in glove with our friends from Iowa and other uh, agriculture states on uh, on uh, things like ethanol uh, and uh, we are uh, so I'm, I'm delighted delighted to be back here obviously um, the theme of this is food fuel and enforcement and we'll be talking a little bit about the uh, the Biden border crisis and the travesty that's occurring at the border uh, due to the uh, open border policies of the administration uh, and a lot of other topics but I, I told uh, Senator Ernst, that uh, I have the pleasure of representing 30 million people in 254 counties. So it's great to come to a conference like this and be able to see so many people from a region at one time. Senator Ernst and Senator Grassley, her senior senator, they go to all 99 of their counties in Iowa each year. So I told her I need a little help to catch up by coming to a regional conference like this to make sure I uh, listen to and touch everybody. So. Without further ado, let me turn it over to Senator Ryan. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Senator Cornyn. And, and it is great to be here in Texas with Congressman August Bluger and great friend and partner in the House and as well with um, Senator John Cornyn, who has been a real powerhouse in the United States Senate when it comes to thoughtful leadership and we appreciate the work and we'll talk about it more on our panel but the work that we have been able to accomplish in the senate when it's passing through the judiciary committee um, you know issues that are important to all of us whether it's immigration whether it's violence against women whatever it might happen to be um, senator cornyn has been just a true leader for our conference um, so i am really grateful to be here and have the opportunity to take the stage with these two fine gentlemen and focus on agriculture. Agriculture is extremely important to the state of Iowa. Everyone within the state of Iowa is somehow connected to agriculture and spin-off industry. We, of course, in Iowa are home to the largest producers of biofuels, uh, both ethanol and biodiesel. And at a time when we see an administration with a huge push to electric vehicles, the thing that unifies us is the internal combustion engine. So we're all about liquid fuels and ways that we can work together to make sure that uh, our state stays strong. So uh, in addition to agriculture, I know that we'll touch a little bit on China as well and what we as the United States can do to push back against the influence and the power of China. So again, just really grateful to have the opportunity to be here in West Texas and, and just really share um, the ideas and thoughts that we have, not only in Congress, but hopefully hear some of those thoughts and ideas uh, coming from the participants as well. So thank you very much. Guys, you get a chance to talk to me all the time, uh, but it's rare to be able to talk to not one, but two senators. So uh, we'll open it up for any questions that you have, and I will please uh, respectfully defer to the senators for those questions. Carolyn McInerney, KLC Television in San Angelo. Welcome to San Angelo, but to you, August, nice to see you. Why are you all here? <laughs> oh, it. He invited yes. me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the short answer. Are. Right. So I have the 